Hey, what's going on there? Min back with another YouTube video. Either you're watching this on YouTube, Facebook, or we're sending it to you directly. Um, my name is Min. I co-founded Scale My Cleaning Business with my partner, Alex, where we help cleaning owners do three things to help them attract and bring in more opportunities on their own. Number one, we help them identify and uncover their ideal clients and where they're at. Number two, help them uh, actually create and uh, pretty much optimize a copy or a message that will resonate with their ideal clients to show their cleaning business of value so they can actually get interest from these potential uh, prospects they want to work with. And three, we do these at scale, right? We pretty much build systems with you to help you reach out to your ideal clients with the right copy at scale so you no longer have to sit and waste hours and hours and hours of prospecting when the systems can do it for you. So if you're interested in something like that, uh, below this video, there will be actually a link for you to talk to either me or one of our trained team members, um, and we'll be able to strategize with you and see if you're a good fit for what we have to offer, okay? Um, I wanted to make this video today primarily for an existing client that we have, but I know it will be of value for you guys um, because in life, in business, your ultimate goal is to optimize your time as that is our number one asset, right? Uh, you can get money, uh, you can get anything you want in the world, but the time is something that you'll never get back. So we take it very, very seriously here uh, at Scale My Cleaning Business for our clients and future clients. So I'm going to say this, when you book a call with us down below to talk about seeing if we can help you do, do, do those three things for your business, I need you to show up and actually treat it like a business call because we value our time. And the number one thing is we want to value your time as well. So when you do book a call, please show up in a business oriented location that we can actually have a conversation one on one and see if we can help you out. Okay. But I'm actually going to uncover two things here, which is Google Calendar and Calendly. And I'm actually going to sign up with you guys today because I actually don't have an account under this email. And I'm going to show you guys how to create an account and how to connect it to your Google Calendar. Now, Min, why do I need this specific uh, software for my business? Well, if you're a cleaning business owner right now and you're tired of just, hey, somebody calls you, you put it down in your calendar and sometimes you forget or you're using a pen and paper as a calendar or a to-do list and you need somewhere to structure your day, Google Calendar is the place. Plus, there's so many different integrations that you can actually use within Google Calendar so you can automate some stuff within your business. So this current client that we have right now, she wants to automate um, or at least some of her client acquisition booking a, a time to sp speak with her or coming out and getting a quote from her cleaning business. The typical process would be, hey, uh, they're interested, I'm going to call them, I'm going to book down a time, and then I'm going to put it on my calendar. Something that we can show you in this video is how you can actually get on the phone call with them, talk to them, say, hey, I can help you out, come out and give you a quote, and say, hey, I'm going to send you a link right now to your email that you can actually book a time yourself that fits within my calendar and your, your calendar, plus fill out a couple questions to further qualify this prospect to see if they're your ideal clients, right? And you get to send them this link via email, and they pick a time, they fill out a couple questions, and it goes straight to your Google calendar. This is going to save you so, so, so much time going back and forth with the prospect on figuring out a time or even qualifying them. Okay. So number one, get Calendly.com. So go on Calendly.com. It, it's integrating with Google. So if you have a Gmail account, use your Gmail account. If you don't have a Gmail account, I suggest you create one. Um, it's very, very simple. Look up gmail.com. Uh, you'll be able to create one, but use your Gmail email for this because Calendly and Google integrates with each other. So I'm actually going to go to the main page of Calendly here so I can give you guys an example of what it looks like, uh, which is right here, Calendly.com. And I'm actually going to sign up with you guys here. So follow this step-by-step -step on how to sign up. Okay, so enter your email to get started. I'm going to use an email that I do not have an account with, which is this one right here. Get started. Uh, the easiest way to sign up is to actually sign up through Google. So sign up with Google. Click that. Click here. This is the existing email that I just used. This will allow Calendly to see, edit, and share, and permanently delete all calendar you see on user, using Google Calendar. So it pretty much asks for permission to access your Google account to then integrate with your Google Calendar, which then can, every time somebody used your link to book a time, it goes straight to your Google Calendar. So I'm just going to uh, click Allow. <clears throat> Wait for it to load. Um, create your Calendly URL. So something you can do is Calendly.com and maybe your business name here. Uh, for instance, I'm just going to do Min Tran. But you can do, uh, for instance, oh, unavailable, Min Tran 001, something like that, right? Or let me do something so I can maybe use this in the future. Uh, M Tran uh, 13. It's Min 
Okay, there it is, my uh, Instagram title. So yeah, just do something, calendly.com slash, this is the link that they're gonna get. So maybe uh, Bob's cleaning service or uh, Samantha's commercial cleaning, whatever it is, and they pick the time zone that you are specifically in. We're in East Coast. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and click continue. Here's how Calendly will work with Min Tran at my email. We'll check, boom, for a conflict. We'll add events to, boom, cool, click continue. Um, set your availability. So this allows you to kind of set a uh, one type of availability. So whatever your business hours are, or you would like people to book within your calendar. So I guess I would just keep it like this from Monday to Friday, just for an example. Uh, what is your day to day role at work? Okay, so you can kind of pick this, it doesn't really matter. I'll just do other here. If you're a business owner, usually you sales and marketing. Um, so I'll actually do sales and marketing. Because as a business owner, primarily that's a couple things you're going to be doing. So sales and marketing. Okay. Awesome. All right. So this is the account. So they give you three templates here. You can actually upgrade um, Calendly where you're paying maybe $10 a month where you can get more than three of these little tabs here. But if you're just using this primarily to send out to your potential prospect for them to book a time and answer a few questions you can just leverage three, okay? So I'm actually gonna click on one of these right here and actually start creating something with you guys. I'm gonna click here, uh, event name. So for instance, I'm gonna just act like I am a cleaning business and I am going to be sending this out to a potential prospect so it can be easier for you guys to relate. So I'll just do, um, let's see, book a free cleaning quote with men, cool? um location don't really have to worry about that description and instruction so this is somewhere you would actually the when the person gets your link they not only see the title which is the event name but they also see the description what you can actually type here what i actually recommend is maybe three to five things they should know when it comes to to booking a quote with you which means uh, number one, maybe say thank you for booking a quote with me. Number two is I will be out there at this time that you scheduled, et cetera, right? Just come up with an easy description where the potential prospect can eat, like, you know, just read it. Maybe a little bit of bio about your cleaning company or something like that. It's very, it doesn't really matter much. Uh, my biggest thing is just making sure that both of these are um, integrated so you can actually have people that use this link to book go into your calendar, okay? So I'm just going to put here, hi, my name is Min. I own men's commercial cleaning. Okay. Looking forward to coming out to give you guys a free cleaning quote. Okay. And um, right here, you actually can go and do. I believe the time. Well, actually, don't worry about this. Let me guess you go ahead and erase that. Um, event link. So this is genuinely just the link name, Calendly at Mintran, or it's Mintran is something I would keep with. And you can you know select the event color, it doesn't really matter. I'll actually choose, you know, some like I would say light blue or something like that. So save and close. Make sure you click save and close. Oh, provide a link. Oh, maybe I'll just do it's Mintran. Just as quote. So I'll just do your business name. Okay, that works. Um, number two is when can people book this event? Okay. So event can schedule this, what this means is in, into the future. For instance, if you send somebody a link, how long do they have regarding the days for them to book? So for instance, if I'm like, Hey, the longer I drag it out, the more chance of them forgetting that I'm going to go give out a quote. So I'm actually just going to give them a five day window to pick a good time. So I'm just going to do five days into the future. So that means if I send this link to them on a Sunday, they have until Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to actually pick a time. So they won't get to see Saturday's event. They get to see uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Thursday, and Friday's event. So it's easier for them to pick a time within the, within this week, okay? Um, I suggest within a week. Uh, if you guys want to drag it and your, 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 your cycle of giving out a quote, you're a bit busier, then change it to 14 days, which is two weeks for the prospect to book. So within the next 14 days, they can pick a time. Uh, but for right now, just do under five, uh, five days or so. Um, how do you want to offer, how do you want to offer your availability for this event? Uh, use the existing schedule, which means the one that we previously set, or you can set a custom hour, which means, Hey, from Monday, 
maybe like let's just say you only give out quotes Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and you only go out and give a quote from – so the times when you're going to be going out and giving a quote is from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m., so you kind of set this out. What that means is when now the prospect gets this calendar link, they only can book between 12 to 5. So it allows you to kind of be like, cool – Everything before 12, I'm doing more admin work, more prospecting for my business. But from 12 to 5, I am focused on going on and giving quotes. After 5, I'm no longer working. I'm going home with my family and enjoying a nice cup of wine, something like that, right? So they only can book on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday between 12 to 5 p.m. Um, and choose duration. So how long is this quote usually? Uh, you know, it's, I would just do 60 minutes or 45 minutes. So I'll just do 60 minutes or you can customize one right here, but I'll just you know, do an hour just in case and buffer, buffer before event, which means um, it's like a, a uh, for instance, let's just say you book onto my calendar, but I have back to back calls. I can actually set a buffer where you can't book at 5 p.m. when I have a call at four and when it lasts is an hour. So before between four and five. I have about 15 minute buffer, so you get to book a 515. Hopefully that makes sense. But you can actually customize it right here if you would like that, okay? Additional rules for your availability. You guys can run through this, but what I just went up there is, is pretty much the basics, and this is pretty much all you gotta worry about. So you're gonna go ahead and click Save. Um, additional options. So this is actually where it gets very, very fun, where you actually can ask a few questions from your prospect to further qualify them so you know exactly where they're at, what's their phone number, what's their email, what exactly they're looking for. So for instance here, name, email is something that it already comes up. Please share anything that will help prepare for a meeting. So for instance, you can actually add more questions here. I don't know what the max is, but I have calendar links that if you book a call with us, you can see it goes up to about 10 questions or something like that. So um, you can actually just go ahead and add questions here. Uh, put your question here, make sure it's required, unless it's not, put a check mark when it's required. So that means they can't click a time unless they fill out this question so i guess i'll just ask this like hey what's your current address guys i can't even spell today uh for us to come out cool answer type one line multiple lines check boxes phone number so if they want to fill out an address i would probably give them multiple lines that it could be a bit longer so I'll go ahead and click apply. And if you guys see this check mark right here, that means it is um, required for them to actually fill it out. So that's good. Um, so maybe you can ask like, you know, two to, two to five different questions to further qualify your prospect. Maybe questions that you would ask over the phone, but you would, you know, ask here so you get some more information. And you can edit these questions by this little, little tab right here, little pencil. You click on it and you'll be able to edit. And then press apply. And if you want to delete it, just click on this and click delete the question. And you'd be cool. So after you come out with you know three to five questions, two to five questions that you want to ask your prospect when they're booking, uh, go ahead and just click save and close. And that is it, right? Um, what actually you, you can actually do this if you would like to send them a notification. Um, but for for the free version, you can actually I'm pretty sure send an yeah email reminder so you can personalize it, which means you can you know, kind of play around with what method, what message you want to send out, what email you want to send out, but, or else you can just kind of click on and it'll send out some email that says, Hey, their name, this is a friendly reminder for, you know, us giving out a quote with me or, you know, whatever at a specific date. So use their template if you guys would like to. Um, but yeah, all these other stuff like text reminder, follow up, they're usually for the pro oh, actually, you know, you can do this email follow up for this account. Cool. So you can even, you know, set this up as well. Um, on your own time, but text, I am positive it's for, oh, wow, oh, wow, what the heck? I didn't even know that. Cool, so you can pers you can send them a text, follow up email and email, okay. I thought it was just a paid version, but I guess not. Um, confirmation page, collect payment. In the future, if you have anything regarding to wanting to collect payment, you can actually you know fill this out and actually collect payment every time they actually book a time. So now that this is done, it's already saved, guys, so you don't have to worry, so go back. And now we have a built link that now you can start sending to your prospect um, where you can just go ahead and do this. Ready? I'm going to walk you through the steps on how you get the link. Super simple. Click copy link. <laughs> right? And now if you go to another tab, boom, you, you paste it down and boom, there goes the link. If you guys want to get a little bit more uh, advanced, you can clone this. You can save it as a template. You can add it onto a website um, or you can delete it, whatever you would like. Okay? So now that I actually have it on here, I'm just going to click enter because this is the link that the prospect is going to get. And this is what they're going to see. 
right? Um, they're going to see book a free cleaning quote, the message that I sent them, or I the description of the uh, specific time or meeting and the hour. And then I'm going to go ahead and walk you guys through. You guys see how it's only available on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you look here, I only have 12 to 5. So 5 is no longer available. But, you know, 12 to 4 is the time that I have to schedule. So if I am a potential client, I see this. Okay, cool. Let me go on a Wednesday. Now I'm going to act as a potential client on a Wednesday at 27th. I'm uh, free. Yeah, let's, you know, let's have you come out at 1 p.m. in to give me a quote. I'll confirm, put my name, my email. I'm actually going to fill this out so you guys can see on the Google Calendar how it works, okay? My email, uh, test, a little smiley face, test, uh, send text reminder to 267-227-3372. This is the future when you, you turn on text notifications. That's awesome. Schedule. So this is what? The client sees they say schedule event uh oh oops boom there it is all right so this is what they get confirm your schedule with mintran so now if i go back to my calendar as you can see it popped up here so on my calendar now i can see mintran book for mintran here's information about the client this is the date and time that i gotta go out and give a quote it automatically transfer over how cool is that right so that is calendly that is exactly how you create a Calendly account. That's exactly how you set up a Calendly invite. Um, I would say, what would I say? You know, what, what would I call this right here? Um, I don't know, a tab, a calendar link or whatever, right? You know what I'm talking about. And then on top of that, it automatically integrates with your Google Calendar. So that's amazing. It goes straight to your calendar once the prospect books. Plus, as you can see, you also get an email right here that says, hey, some X and X just booked a time for you to come out and give a quote. How awesome is that, guys? That is it for this video. I appreciate everybody watching this. And if you see any type of value from any of our videos or this video itself, can you go ahead and do me a huge favor by clicking the like button and comment below and, and pretty much telling us if this helped you out, if you're going to go ahead and integrate this. And if you want to see more videos on how you can grow your cleaning business, either that's generating more business or making you know different things within your business, systemizing things to automate your business even more, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button as we drop content weekly. And if you would like to talk to a person with me or my team about these three things that we can help you with uh, within your cleaning business, which is identifying and uncovering your ideal clients, being able to help you create a copy or a message that you can send out to these people to resonate and, and, and pretty much bring interest and show your cleaning business of value to create business relationship and bring opportunities for your business. And then number three is help you build systems to do this at scale so you don't send hours and hours prospecting when you can have, uh, have a built-in system that prospects for you at scale to your ideal clients with the right messaging and, and pretty much overall the right copy, okay? Uh, thank you so much again. If you want to go ahead and book a time, just go ahead and click down below. We'll be more than happy to chat with you and see if you are a good fit for what we do. And uh, that's it, guys. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.